morning. This is the 60 Seconds to Serenity with me, Greg Hammond, Monday, December 4, 2017. And since it's Monday and a lot of people are going back to a routine, I want to help you with uh, adding in just a reminder this morning to use your, your tools, your 60 seconds to serenity tools to respond to things in your day. Change your routine a little bit and add these things in that we've been talking about. And remember, there's good news because your life just got a whole lot easier when you're using the tools of 60 seconds to serenity. Part of the change of your routine, change of habits, include uh, less of the television news, if that's part of your routine, to take that out, or if you uh, spend time reading a newspaper, that amount of time can be used to harness the, uh, the power of your calm mind by using these tools, these 60 seconds to serenity tools where you're focusing on creating the calm mind so that it is something that you carry with you all the time because it's a superpower to be able to stay in the calm mind and respond to things going on in your day. And uh, you can start your list, right? I'm thinking about these things as I look on my, I'm about to tell you about the gratitude list and then it just automatically makes me feel really good because I see the, the stuff on my list from um, all the times that I've written it down. Ten, ten things of gratitude. Um, make your list of things that you're grateful for. Uh, make that part of your habit. The tools of the 60 seconds to serenity to get to the calm mind is the breathing we've been doing, we've been talking about that breath, and I always share that as the wave coming in on the beach, a nice sandy beach where that calm wave comes in. Breathing in, thinking about a nice calm wave on that perfect beach. The perfect beach as you see it in your mind. It might be at a sunrise, it might be at sunset, it might be the middle of the day where those waves are coming in and the hammock is stretched between two trees, two nice palm trees, and you can hear those waves coming in and that's how your breath is coming in and out. And you're focusing on changing the way that your breath is coming in and out. And I say that because we breathe all the time and the idea of creating these tools and doing this is so that you, as you breathe, which you do all the time, these tools become ingrained, right, which is a calm mind, the ability to respond to things. So you're thinking about all these, all these things that you've been making your list over the past weeks. You're thinking about all these things that you're grateful for, whether they're people, places, things, tying that together with your calm slow breath in out and uh, you might have some stone or some object this is my flat gratitude stone smooth on one side rough on the other to represent the smooth side is how life is when I'm responding and the rough side over here is what it's like if I react to things so I start off my day as I'm holding this and thinking about all those things I'm grateful for and using my breathing and focusing on having a good day and remembering that I'm going to respond. Some, some of the affirmations that we've said, things that are positive, empowering statements that you want going through your head. And I say that because you, you may not even realize that we have a lot of disempowering uh, statements that can come in from outside influences, your friends, family, TV, movies, and you want to weed those out. We want to put in all of these good ones. 
The I Live in Paradise is one of my favorites because no matter where I go, I live in paradise. And some people might think that the place that I live here in Washington, D.C. is not exactly paradise uh, because of the temperature. People think about the temperature being part of what paradise is. But paradise is in your in yourself. The way that you carry yourself through the day, the way that you treat all the people that you interact with, the way that you feel about yourself, the things that you do for yourself and for other people, the way that you're part of a community makes it paradise. Um, here in my guitar castle in Washington, D.C., I consider this whole space and the way that I go about my day paradise because I'm always there. So wherever I go, it is paradise. The non-dominant hand exercise where we're using our non-dominant hand to write down a couple of things. If you've been going along, then you're, you're all the way through all these different things that we've added in. We started with our <clears throat> just writing our name. If you're beginning with this today, then just write your first and last name. If you're ready to add more, or you've been doing the whole thing, then you're putting in the day of the week. Today's Monday, December 4. And then I put in, and we've started to write in the sunrise, the time of sunrise. Write the word sunrise, the time, sunset, temperature, and the direction of the wind. And you can put down snowing, rain, or something like that if you want to add something else in there. The idea is that you're just using your non-dominant hand to slowly write that out taking the time and feeling what that feels like to shift through a new, creating a new habit. Yeah, it works a lot of stuff in your brain, which we are working on exercising our brain, right? And I like to add in the chimes for the day. Think about um, your favorite songs, your set list of favorite songs. And you can use that when you're doing your breathing. You can use one of your favorite songs. Um, Global Jam for Peace stickers and refrigerator magnets if you would like them. Uh, I've been sending them out. I have the ability um, a sponsor has helped with uh, paying the postage so I can send those out. So. I'll I'm happy to take the time to do that. Um, if you're looking for gift ideas, Keep Smiling Book is a very positive book that I have just published with my friend Ken, co-author Ken. Um, and the book features um, a ton of very influential pe people, successful people who have done a lot of things um, to make the, the community better whose lives influence the world in a good way. And then it has my story in the back, and it also has uh, a little paragraph about Ken, and then it also has our founder of the Keep Smiling movement, Barry Shore. It has uh, his story there in the beginning, uh, how it got started. But what a great gift idea, right? You can go to Amazon, find the Keep Smiling that has my name on it and Ken's name on it. But look for, look for my name. So you know you got the right one. And grab a few of these to send out as gifts for the holidays um, for people that you're not sure what to get them. Uh, a cool book like that uh, is a nice um, small book that they can carry around. And uh, it's very inspiring. So I'm going to hop off here. That was uh, my quick Monday 60 Seconds to Serenity for you. I am working with my team to... Um, they're taking all of these videos and putting them together so that they will be available on um, YouTube. And I'm doing this as my way of giving back because my life is amazing and I'm extremely grateful for that. So um, to take you through the end of 2018, I am doing all of these 60 Seconds to Serenity tools. And this is the, 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 the reason I'm doing this is this is so important to totally shifting uh, and being able to set goals and achieve them. This this part 
if you're able to do this, it shifts everything else. And I'm going to be guiding people through, and I'll talk about that later on. Had a call come through. i got to hop off of here. It's already that time. But, uh, have a fantastic uh, Monday. Peace, love, and music to everybody. See you later.